Installing Blender on a Chromebook is a little bit harder than any other normal applications. Because what we have to do is we have to close down our Chrome and we have to install Linux first. You can do this on any Chromebook and it's pretty easy to do. Just go to the settings, then go to advanced and right here you should see developers. Then you should see Linux developer environment. Click on turn on, then click on next. Choose a username, this can be anything and choose a disk size. So this is what you would like. I'll just keep it at 10 gigabytes. Doesn't matter that much. Now it will install Linux. This may take a few minutes. For me, the last time it took around three to four minutes. Okay, so once Linux is installed, this should open up. If this doesn't open up, you should go to the app section. Then you should see terminal, click on it. And then there should be this thing called Penguin. And basically, if you click on Penguin, it should open up this terminal. Now make sure that you have Penguin, otherwise this will not work. So and now we can download any version of Blender. All right, so there will be a Google document in the description where you see these commands. So we'll have to type all these commands in Linux. Now let's say that there's a new version of Blender that you would like to download. Then I'll show you how you can do that. So basically all these commands will always be the same, except for the version. Now my case Blender 4.0.2 is the latest version, but let's say that it's another version or we'll just like to download another version that I show in the video. Then what you will need to do is change a little bit of these things. So with the first command, we're gonna download the package. And basically how this works, well, there's this site which you can click on right here. And this is the site with all the Blender, Blender download uh, options. So if I scroll down, and you don't have to understand this, but basically the latest version is Blender 4.02. So we'll go to Blender 4 because it's 4. So we click on this 4.0 and here you'll see all the downloads. Now the latest download will always be in the bottom and then we'll have to search for Linux because we're going to download it on Linux. So Blender 4.0.2 dash uh, Linux. Okay, this is the right one. Then what you have to do is right click on this one. Click copy link address. Make sure you have that one. Then go back to here and chase, change this a wget. Change this link right here. Remove it. Change this. Paste the link. And then it will be changed to that version. Then we'll have to change the following text. Let's say that it will say 3.2.3. Then basically we change it to 4.02. Because that's our version. So we change this to a 2. This one to a 0. And this one to a 4. Then for the last one also change this the same as you did with the last thing. Then we'll just have to paste the commands and we'll be all good. So first copy the first line. Press Ctrl C. And go to this one. Paste it in. Now pasting in Linux doesn't work the same way. Now I'm not a Linux expert, but if I try to pass Ctrl V, it doesn't work. So what I did by accident is if you right click, it will paste the command. So if you press right click and press on enter, you may have to do it a few times. As you can see, it should be downloading. And then once it's 100%, we can go to the next step. All right, it has now been downloaded. So we'll go back to the document, copy the next line, Ctrl C, go to your terminal, click right here and then right click. Press on enter. Okay, so I figured it out. You just have to copy it in and then you'll have to press on enter and it will give this uh, invisible line, but you have to wait till your username appears again. If you've done that, then you've successfully extracted the file. Now we can launch the file from our uh, terminal. So copy the next line, copy, uh, go right here, do the same thing, press on enter. And as you can see, now something is loading, which I hope is going to be Blender. And yes, here it is. So as you can see, we now have Blender. Aha. Okay, so now we can close down Blender. Don't save. And what you could do is you could every time open up Linux and then copy this command and open up Blender. But what we can also do is do the following and, and download this app in order to add it to our menu. What we can also do is download something which make it so we can access this easier and we can have it at, as this application. So copy sudo apt update, go back to your terminal, you know what to do, copy it in, press enter, then it will do it. And once it's done, we can do the following, sudo apt install, we're going to install this app right here, do the following, enter, do you want to continue? Yes. Once that is done, it may take a little while. We can copy the next thing, which is Kim New Edit. So press Ctrl C, then copy it in, press Enter. 
Now you have to wait once again, so don't do anything. And this, then this should open up. So then you have to go to multimedia, click on new item, call this blender, say OK. Then you have a new item. Then all you have to do is go to program. All right, so now in program, click on this little file thing right here. It should be on this one, so click on the above one. Open it, then go to blender. This should have this one with around 230 megabytes. Then click on open. You should be right here so click on save after it has been saved you can close down the file and we can now see if it has been worked so if you now go to right here we can see if it worked so there should be this thing in linux apps which is called blender or it's right here you can also just search for it blender and here's my app called blender if i open it just to test I've now successfully called Blender with an application so that I can always open it whenever I like. If this helped you, please like, subscribe because it really helps the channel. Thank you for watching.